Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers concepts video. Not really a tutorial video, just sort of a, a thing that I've discovered while playing a mission. If y'all wondering where I'm at right now, I'm inside of a survival world where I'm playing the Never Surrender scenario. Just, you know, testing it out, checking it out. If you guys want to see me do something like this um, on maybe a live stream, or you want to see a edited variant of this at some point or even just an unedited 30 minute run 20 minute run whatever where i basically take a playthrough of this scenario and just start chopping it up <clears throat> let me know I'll, I'll keep doing it till i end up getting killed by the system but anyway as working on this if you're noticing right now i'm currently in the process of building a ship uh with my other ship Operational. If I can get it to go back here, yeah, right here, like this. So yeah, this is this is what we're doing right now. I'm trying to build another ship, which will be bigger and better than my original ship. So yeah, that's what we're doing. But what I'm, I was thinking about doing was, while I was messing with this, we have access to new tools and new blocks. So I decided I would check out the new Willis ducks, and I came up with some great ideas on how to use them. So. One of the things about this ship, and yes, if some of y'all are Star Citizen fans, you'll notice that it's a very <clears throat> wonky version of the Hammerhead. I do need to work on the outer fins. I need to pull them back a bit more and redo this entire engine platform. Nothing much. It's, it's actually pretty easy to do. I didn't realize it until I was already halfway into it. But one of the things I noticed when building this thing was I wanted to be able to work on everything. And this is where the Willis Ducks are coming in. So in the downtime, when you are fixing stuff, you, you want to be able to get a hold of things as you're running off. This is where the Willis Ducks comes into play. Now on the side here, I have a, a section of pipe here that is going to a turret that I'm going to build eventually. Now inside, you can easily get to it. In fact, let me just zip right in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So as you can see, you can get to most of this stuff, most of the tools and everything. I think I'm going to move the bridge right down here underneath. But you can get to most of the tools, most of the internals. I got my assembler in here, two oxygen tanks. Uh, neat little way to do this. But the problem isn't here. The problem is there's a T-junction here behind this corner that moves over into this direction. And I need to be able to operate on that. So, what I've done here <coughs> is just use the Willis ducts kind of creatively. So. First off, we have an access here. Any of you that know anything about the Willis Ducks, you know that this little access here is just a covering. So walk up here to this, open that up, and crouch down. Yeah, you can just work right off over into this. And so then I've got access to my small cargo container, my conveyor sorter, I've also got access to this reinforced conveyor tube. I can I can work with all this stuff and I can fix it <clears throat> while we're out there. So we've got an, a small access port, which goes right into it. And the easiest way to fix this access port is just head on over. Forgive me for this taking so much because this is a survival world. I don't have this in creative mode. And we just slap our Willis stuff back on there. When we're done, and just reapply it. So now that's cool uh, for doing that. And I had very limited room. That's what I did with the wheel stuck there. Now, what I did over here was a little bit different. I did somewhat the same thing with the engine pods, which I'm going to move forward. But the other idea was this, having a hatch. So we open up the access hatch here. And the idea is I'll have gravity engaged in this area of the ship. And then you just crouch down, and we have a set of Willis ducts, which takes me all the way to the edge, where I can just do some nice work, fix on this a little bit, fix on that. And then when I'm ready, I can walk over here and head on out. Oops, hit the wrong thing. <laughs> and we have a hatch that we can just shut in. Now, I don't have this completed yet, but a similar concept is over here. I'm going to use thinner plates to 
cover this engine nacelle here, which I'm going to push forward and kind of pull out a little bit. But the same thing applies here. We've got ourselves a nice door. We can open this door up. And then down in here, we have the Willis ducts. And I can go and I can mess with the hydrogen tank and everything else. I am going to do some experimentation with this in creative mode to see if the Willis ducts can do the same thing as the corridor blocks. But looking at them, they're pretty much the same thing as a corridor block. Meaning that they are going to be able to stand up to a decent amount of damage. But yeah, those are just some interesting ways y'all can use the whole Willis duct systems and uh, use them on the outside of your ship. Just just some creative ways. You don't have to have like direct access. It's usually the, the best way to access a ship is just as long as you can access some of this stuff in here <clears throat> that's running the distance. You can see the Willis duct right here popping out. Sometimes that's just the best way to do things. And with a ship this small, I am, I am going to do some modifications to this thing. Eventually, I am going to put the bridge at the bottom for those of you that are wondering I know, I know, I know, there are Star Citizen fans out there saying, yes, this looks good, but your your bridge is in the wrong spot, your engines are all messed up, yeah, I'll fix that but like I said, this is just some ideas for your Willis Ducks to make them just work better so that while you're operating your ship, when you need to fix something or work on something you can just easily get on it and get it fixed but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this idea, and I hope you guys can deploy it inside of your own ships and vessels. A uh, concept of external Willis ducts that you guys can access yourselves so you can go in and mess around with things. It does allow you to create more compact builds when you utilize Willis ducts in this way. Anyway, everyone, I am Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty. Uh, Enjoy the Willis Ducks trick, and I will see you guys next time.